all right guys so in this video i'm going to uh show you a different method um to reset windows 10 password actually here i'm going to also show you how to rename those files back to their original names so the way we're going to do this is um, we're going to create a user and we're going to add that user to the uh, administrators group so we can have all the privileges once we get to the desktop so we're going to do the same here we're going to uh, click this easy of access button and uh, if you don't know how I brought the command prompt here, I would recommend uh, you watch the last video. I have the link in the description down below. Uh, so you can, uh, you know, learn how to uh, bring the command prompt here at the lower window. So, and over here, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to uh, create a user by t running the, the following command net user. So the command is net user uh, forward slash add and we're going to uh, username will be win I'll just put uh, W uh, Cruz how about that W Cruz which is my last name so net user add W Cruz we're telling the system that we want, we want to create this new new username so we press enter and now we need to uh, add that user to the administrators group so the command we're going to run is net local group administrators forward slash at and the username so the username is oh i'm sorry so administrators w cruz forward slash add so we're telling the system that we want to add w cruise to the administrators group so we press enter and uh okay so that group has been already created and we should it should appear over here somewhere let's see we need to restart the pc actually so let's just restart it So notice that I have that new account over here, W Cruise. Since we didn't assign any password to it, by clicking on it, you know, we will be able to access the desktop. So just give it a few seconds, you know, since it is the first time that we are accessing the desktop with this user. It'll take a little time because it will have to uh, add, you know, all the all the applications and all the settings and stuff. So just give it a few minutes. All right, guys, so we have now accessed the system with that uh, uh, new user that we created. So now we need to access the uh, control panel. So I'm going to uh, press the Windows key plus X. And I will, sell, I will click control panel. Select user accounts. And again, user accounts. And... We, we will click manage other accounts you know since uh this user uh the, the new user we created w cruise notice that uh, it is um it, it is member of the administrators group so we can do anything we want with this user so we will um be able to reset any password we want uh, let's 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 uh, select this user here the pc admins which is the user i forgot i forgot the password of so I will click that and then I will click change the password and just put any password you want. So I'll just you put any password, CSS 200 space, I mean confirm it and put the password hint 
and then change password and then that's it guys so let's just log out over here and try the new password All right, so let's uh, PC admins. Let's type the new password. It actually worked. It's great. You know, very easy to do it and uh, and very efficient. So now um, we need to let's log out over here, and I'm gonna show you something. Um, notice that you don't want to have the computer, you know, uh, with this powerful command prompt here at the logon window we will need to make sure we rename those files so you see because you don't want to click this uh, easy of access button here and uh, and get the command prompt so what we're going to do is we're going to rename those files back to uh, their original names but we cannot do it over here we need to uh, boot the computer from the uh, installation media and then do it from there so we will need this installation media again so if you don't have the PC make sure you put it uh, change the boot sequence in the BIOS and restart the PC Okay, press any key to boot from CD. So once you get to this window, I uh, press Shift F10. And if you only have a single operating system in your in your computer, you just need to change directory to D drive. And press enter and your operating system should be here but if you have dual booting you kind of have to play with the syntax so once we're we're here we're going to change directory to windows uh, backward slash system 32 And once we're here, we're going to rename those files back, you know, because we don't want to have the command prompt at the logon window. So uh, the command is going to be ren, R E N. Um, but first, we need to rename the util main back to uh, CMD. So util main that executable to CMD that executable. If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, I would I would recommend uh, you go uh, watch my previous video. Uh, the link is in the description down below so enter and we're going to rename the util men one the executable back to util men that executable all right so this is it guys uh, it should be fine now uh, so right now, if we go back to the logon window, we should not be able to uh, access the command prompt. All right, so we click this uh, button over here. Notice that we, we will get something else. You see, we get the easy, easy of, of access button over here. We do not get the command prompt anymore. All right, guys, so I uh, hope you guys like, like it. Um, let me know what you think. If you have any questions, uh, just put them down below, and I'll make sure I get back to you. Thank you.